the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Callow. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callow? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Care for some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. You're not the only one, Zuby. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Ryder. Crumbs on the deck. You found them too? I think something's eating our stores. Archon barely sees us as sentient, strings people up like puppets. Didn't know Sam could do that to his Pathfinder. You sure you're okay? Just a lingering bruise or two. My vitals are good. Let's hope that sample he took isn't a problem. Losing the Krogan could really hurt us down the line, but at least we got Reika. Sorry, rambling. Did you need me? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. We need to talk about Sam. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped to the Ket containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Scott. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. All right. I'll find a new party trick. 
Have Gil teach you three card Monty or something. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that, even if you don't have cells to prove it. that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the cat activity's down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The cat can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing cat over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp? The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over? After everything you've been through? I don't know. The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all, can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. You're taking on a lot, making all of Helios your problem. It is our problem. We're not going back. We have to make it work. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. 
They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. <sighs> I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <sighs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Kalo? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <laughs> Heck. Maybe that goes both ways. It was great meeting Jill. Any news from her? You know the look BB gets when she finds something new? That greedy kid in a candy store look? Yeah. Jill's all goofy like that lately, which means there may be some pregnancies cropping up on Eo soon. After all her hard work, I'm so happy for her. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. You meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Cash as a granddaughter? Cash is my Rushan. Child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good. Even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my con, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just gonna have to deal with that. So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Ha, huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, 
That Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkrow roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. I'd like to know about Morda. She leads the colony, Clan Nakmore. We adopted her in a few centuries ago. Morda's a fine warlord, proud but practical. As long as Tan doesn't have say over the clan, you'll be able to talk her back into the initiative. Something's gonna have to get done about Spender, though, or it'll get ugly again. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, <laughs> when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Hey, Jal? <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm... I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Whatever gets you through. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? For Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure yet. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothjin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not, or I don't feel like I am. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected, and many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. Hey, PB. Hold that thought. Sit tight. Uh, I'll be right back. 
Hello. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. Actually, you be the judge. I'm just going to come out with it. I want you, Ryder. More than friends, more than lovers. I want strings. All the strings. You said you wanted that. Before, I mean. But things can change. So, at the beep, just let me know. Do you want to be with me? For real? Either way, uh, join me in the meeting room, huh? Um... Beep... So, um, uh, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. He just showed up. She did ambush me. But I survived. No harm, no foul. Huh? I just want to say, whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well, that's gonna stop. I'm proud and happy to be part of this team. This... family. That... that's really it. Uh, okay? About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. I'm making ice. It's an ungodden holiday. Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. But, but... PB, I want to be with you. Only you. Cereal crumbs. Lots of them. More crumbs. Going... where? Something's nesting here. Something that likes cereal. I wonder. We've probably got materials to build a humane trap and catch it.
One trap ready for a visitor. I'll leave it and see what we get.